Hello, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements 15 and Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements 15 together. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 15 looking at some of the new features or one new feature in particular. This is one of the coolest tools that Adobe has added to Photoshop Elements, but it's also a little scary when you think about its potential. Anyway, we have a very nice picture of this woman and we can enhance this picture. If we like her smile or maybe she's not smiling at all, maybe not smiling enough, maybe too much, we can fix all that. Now, if you just go to the enhance menu at the top of the screen and select from it, adjust facial features it opens up the facial features adjustment panel. Now here in the facial features adjustment panel, uh, the program is going to automatically find the faces in your picture. In this particular case, we only had one face, but I've tried it with several faces in a picture. It will identify and draw a circle around every face, and then you just need to click on the face that you want to work on and highlight that one. And as you can see, we have a number of cool adjustments. So if I go to lips, I have the option of changing her smile with a simple slider, making it bigger, smaller, we'll make it, give her a nice big smile. We can change the height of the smile, make it wider, right? We can even adjust the size of her lips, pretty amazing. Actually scary how much you can change the appearance of somebody. Her eyes also, we can change the uh, overall size, height, or width of her eyes. Even the distance between the eyes and the tilt of the eyes. If we go to nose, we can make that nose longer, shorter, wider, narrower. I'm going to extremes here because I want to show you something when I'm done here. We can even change the width of her face so we can make her face much wider or much narrower. Adjust the forehead length, adjust the jawbone shape, and the chin height. Now I may be going to extremes with this, but down here at the bottom of the panel is a before and after. I think it might be off the screen. Let me see if I can just adjust the size of this. There we go. So it's on the screen. Is it before and after? Take a look at the difference between the original picture and what we've adjusted to. Now like I say, that opens the door for a lot of dishonesty if you're making a picture for Match.com. <laughs> but our concern when we're working in post-production, of course, is just to make people look as good as possible. And maybe not going to the extreme as I went to just now, but you can certainly enhance somebody, make their smile a little bigger and prettier, maybe slim their face a little bit. It's actually amazing to me how seamless these adjustments are. Very few of these show, none of them look odd or unrealistic. Unless, you know, I do have these pushed kind of to the extreme, but they made some very big differences in this woman's face. Now, if you want to know more about this tool and how it works and how to use all the hundreds of tools that are here in Photoshop Elements as well as Premiere Elements, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we got at MoviePix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about both these programs, including how to do some really cool stuff that makes them work together, in other words, how to pass files between them and prepare files to move between Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements, be sure to check out our books, the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. They're available at Amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again real soon.